I know he heard him to tell me that, Dad, I'm addicted, and my natural reaction was, son, tell me what it is. Larry Blackford Jr. admitted to his dad he was fighting an opioid addiction. And so I had to pretty much accept it, so I prepared myself for that and still loving him and still helping him and encouraging him. And <clears throat> what he helped me with is that every time I had a conversation with him, I always said, I love you, son. He always said, I love you, dad. On December 24th, 2017, the Blackfords made their plans to open gifts together the next day. And that night he said, uh, Dad, I'm going to be down. We're going to see y'all in the morning. You know you're going to love your gifts and because we, we love Christmas. On December 25th, 2017, Blackford Jr. lost his battle with the disease. And I knew when I saw him then, he was already gone. I was hitting him and calling his name and no response, which is really, it was just an out-of-body experience. Now the war against addiction is far from over for Reverend Larry Blackford. The Versailles District 6 magistrate has been using his position and his faith to raise awareness for addiction, the need for rehabilitation and stricter laws ever since. For those who have love with addiction, you got to really keep loving them. You really have to, uh, you have to be strong to do that because the pain that it costs you is great pain. Just Tuesday, Representative Deanna Frazier Gordon, a Republican from Richmond, filed House Bill 388. It would allow dealers to be charged with murder if someone overdoses after buying drugs from them. It, I think that obviously, I think the stronger laws that we can have for drug dealers, that it, it maybe it will deter drug dealers from coming to Kentucky. Madison County Judge Executive Reagan Taylor says this is a step in the right direction. Back in January, two people were charged with manslaughter. Richmond police determined they supplied the drugs a man overdosed and died using. There's not going to be any kind of positive effect on our communities if we continue to allow this to happen and, and, and to kind of turn a blind eye to it. In Woodford County, Grayson Passmore, WKYT.